My eyes are always on the jump. My mind never shuts off. You know, I'm sitting in the doctor's surgery and he's getting ready to do an injection or whatever, and I'm looking around going, Could I make that in miniature? My mum does the food mainly. The business started off at her house. Very quickly, it got too, too big for the kitchen table. So um, we ended up building a, an extension. You usually start off with the, the, the actual thing that you're making in front of you to get the colour out and, and the shape. For instance, when we did tripe, I can't stamp tripe myself. I the thought of it, but uh, I went to the butchers and got a piece and a bit of a polythene bag on the desk to get the colour out and the texture. People assume that the man at the house will have made all this stuff. And uh, they say, oh, so does, does your husband make all this? And I say, no, no, me and my mum make it out. Do you? Oh. Usually a bloke that said it. When I was at school, my teacher described my work as clinical. All the straight A's and everything sort of led to university. But the friends that I had were coming back. They just ended up with a big bill. And it didn't necessarily lead to a job. And I thought, well, I've got a job here. I like doing it. I might as well. I get my inspiration from around me. We do a hairdressing range because I got a part-time job sweeping up and doing the shampoo, you know, a shampoo bill. It's creating a world. Some people create replicas of things. Some people create things that they could never afford in reality. This is me, me condom and packet. Um, originally ordered by a lady uh, as a joke for her son-in-law. Um, wasn't given the details. It can be a bitchy world, can the miniatures world. People can be like, I do that, and now she started doing it. They've copied my idea or whatever, but we're all copying real life. The period stuff that other people make, it sort of feels like looking at a museum to me. It doesn't do anything for me. Why are we still doing miniatures of Georgian houses, Victorian houses, Tudor houses. We don't live like Victorians. The palaces were originally made for people in palaces, and the people who can afford them are still living in palaces, let's face it. I want to, to make my items for ordinary people. I like to represent now, the era I live in. If we don't do miniatures of what we do now, how will it be represented in the future? I'd like people to come across my things and think that's what Kath Alden made, that's what she did of her time, you know, and of, of what she saw. <laughs>